If you want to customize your mouse cursor image or either you want to enhance your working experience with the mouse cursor image, then you are at the right place. So to know about some interesting and helpful mouse tricks, let's get started. So here we are. Now let me first make these icons large so that it will be easy for you to see the options in the screen. Now before we move to the interesting and helpful mouse tricks, you can see that I am not using an arrow cursor image which is provided by default. I am using a different cursor image and I will tell you in the video that how I have made this and I will also tell you some other quite interesting and helpful mouse tricks and uh, before we head towards the video let me first make this different cursor image and arrow cursor image which is provided by default as it will provide you ease to figure it out that where I have clicked on the options so here we are so we have this arrow cursor image which is provided by default and now to perform some interesting and helpful mouse tricks we have to move towards the mouse option which is right up here and as I click on it we get a window named mouse properties. So the first mouse property is button configuration. In this we can switch out the primary and secondary buttons of the mouse that means by default we use the left key of the mouse for primary functions such as selecting and dragging and if I enable this feature we can use the right key of the mouse for primary functions such as selecting and dragging. As you can see in your screen here is figure of a mouse which has a little blue portion on the left key of it and if I enable this feature the little blue portion shift to the right side of the mouse. That means we have switched between the primary and secondary buttons of the mouse. And as I do not want this, I want the settings as default. I will cancel this window so the changes are not saved. And I again clicked on this to perform another mouse trick. So the next mouse property is double click speed. Double click speed tells you how fast or slow the folder will open when you double click on it. From here you can slow or fast the speed and here it is also written that if the folder does not open or close try using a slower setting. That means if you set it too fast and if you double click on it and the folder is not opening so from here you can slow the speed down so that the folder can open and as I want this setting also as default I will cancel it and again open the window for the next mouse property. So the next mouse property is click lock. So click lock enables you to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. That means you can highlight or drag the folder without holding down the mouse. So let's see how it will work. If I turn on click lock and apply and OK and I opened a new window. So if I click on the empty space for a while and now I have remove my hand from the mouse and if I again use the mouse I can select it or highlight it and if I again click on it it will release it and if I double click on the file and remove my hand from the mouse and if I again use the mouse and I can move it anywhere that means I have double clicked it for a while and there is no need to hold down the mouse to move the file. So now to perform other mouse tricks we have to move towards control panel and again in mouse option and now we will move to pointers. So here you can see that there are many schemes and you can choose any of them which you want and if I choose windows arrow system scheme which is by default you can see there are a number of cursor image from which you can choose and as in the starting I have shown you a static cursor image which is made by me you can also make a similar one or the other cursor image which you want you have to simply make an image 
in the paint app which is provided by Microsoft and you have to set the pixels to 32 by 32 resolution and to draw smoothly you can make zoom to 800 so it will be easy for you to draw out and now I am doing this in fast forward as I have already made this symbol and you have to save this image in .png file and after saving this image in .png file you have to use an background remover app so that there will not be any white screen or any other background and after that you can convert it online from .png to .cur which is the extension of a static cursor image and hence you are done or either you can also use some graphical software which are provided online to make the arrow cursor image of your desired choice as they will help you to draw the desired cursor image for your cursor and they will convert the same into .cur file and one more thing you can also make a background of yellow color with a cursor in it which you may have seen in different computers now as you have made your .cur extension file you simply have to browse that file and now as you can see I have selected the image that means the cursor image which I have made and now if I will apply and do ok I will got that cursor image which is made by me and you can also select your cursor image by going in browse which you have made but remember the extension should be .cur so that you can select it as a cursor image and now you only have to do is apply and ok and now you got the desired cursor image which is made by you now moving towards the mouse option again now as you can see in pointers there is a enable pointer shadow you can enable this or disable this as per your choice now heading towards the pointers option we can see that there is a feature for the motion of the mouse that means you can select the speed here that how fast or slow your pointer moves and the other is a snap to this will automatically move your pointer to the default button in the dialog box so the next one is visibility and if I turn it on it will show the trails of your pointer as you can see if I apply ok you can see the trails of your pointer and now if I again go to mouse properties and in pointer option there is an option of height pointer while typing it is a good feature that if you enable this you can hide your pointer while typing and the last we have got is show location of pointer when I press the CTR key this is also a good one because many times we are unable to find the pointer in the screen and if I enable this feature and apply and ok and if I press CTRL key we can see that a circle is going in that means this circle is going inwards and it is showing that where the pointer is so it is good one as many times we are unable to find the pointer so we can just press the CTRL key and find the location of our pointer so these all are the tricks which I want to share with you and most of them are very helpful don't forget to tell me in the comment box that which one you like the most and thanks for watching